and uh, welcome to uh, Dandare 3 on the uh, Commodore 64. And uh, this is. Um, I'll skip this. Uh, you can see this is uh, developed by Probe Software, and actually it's uh, by the same team that brought you the uh, Cybernoid and uh, Stormlord games on the uh, C64. So we're expecting this to be quite a tough game. Uh, and, uh, so let's face it, Cybernoid, uh, I don't, I don't, I've never managed to complete any Cybernoid games, uh, or Storm Lord for that matter. Uh, uh, let's get started. So you take control of Dan and uh, you've got a little jetpack to fly around. And it's uh, basically an exploration and uh, sort of shoot map game. Uh, this is actually a fuel, a f a fuel pump, you can top up your uh, jetpack fuel. And uh, we start off in the storeroom, uh, we're on a spaceship and the, the idea is we've got to collect uh, enough uh, fuel cans to um, uh, make, make uh, our, our escape possible from this uh, spaceship. So we've got to explore each level and collect the fuel cans basically and uh, well, there are only five levels in the game and it's quite a short game and the levels aren't very big but uh, to progress to the next level, you need to destroy uh, these. Uh, it looks like the Mekon, but uh, I guess it's not. It's just a sort of statue of him because uh, it's present in every single level. So that's us now collected the uh, access to the next level. But because we're in the storeroom, we, we can also um, access this uh, little terminal here. And you can uh, buy extra lives and smart bombs, so we'll buy some boosting bombs. You can't have any more lives than the maximum, so we can't buy any more lives at the moment. Uh, and we can't blast off until we get all the fuel. So let's exit and make our way down the level. This is the teleporter here. Whoa. Now to teleport to the next game, uh, to the next level, sorry, uh, you've got to go through this. But if you lose, yeah, if if you fall out of the uh, tunnel, you lose a bit of energy, and if you lose all your energy, you uh, are sent back to the level you came from, uh, and then you lose life. So now we can go back and buy an extra life, and we'll exit. You can pull down to select your bouncing bombs. At the minute it's telling us we've got, um, we've picked up no uh, fuel, fuel at all. So we we'll You can see the graphics are really, really smart actually. Uh, Hugh Bin's a really talented graphics guy on the 64. A uh, real talented artist. The sound effects are okay. Uh, are pretty decent uh, maniacs of noise as usual. There's a couple of tunes at the start of the game. Uh, uh, they're okay, not not the best stuff, but they're, they're not too bad. So let's teleport to the next level. Just got to follow follow the tunnel and try not to fall out of it, like I said. Oops. You see my energy bar? That that's the red bar in the states panel. It's gone down a bit now. Right. Once you exit the level, you're under attack right away. Lost life already. And when I first played this game, I thought, yeah, this is quite a tough game. Uh, that's before I discovered the shop uh, and the store where you can buy extra lives, because uh, I thought, well, there's not a lot of extra lives, but uh, well, there's not enough lives to make your way through the game, but uh, you, you just buy more. So this, you need to flip this lever, that opens up the rest of the level. There's some respawning enemies here. Yeah, I, I, I can't help thinking the game would have benefited, benefited from you know, like some nice background music or something, but uh, it just seems a bit sparse. Uh, but maybe it's just the sound effects, but. Uh, I don't think you can destroy those gun positions. So. Uh, 
Yeah, I really thought this was a, th it was a tough game uh, when, I when I first played it. I thought, well, it's a typical Nick Jones game. Uh, it's really tough. But uh, because I know uh, you can just go back and buy extra lives, which I'm going to do now. So all you have to do is pull down to select um, the store icon. And when you access the teleporter, it just um, takes you to the store. If I make it. And these scenes are okay, they add a bit of variety to the game, I suppose. Ah, I lost life. Oh, did I? Yeah. So it sent me back. So I to... Of course, I didn't have the store icon selected that might have sent me to the next level. In which case, I'll make a hasty withdrawal. I think I'll select the store and uh, go to the back to the store. Yeah, so I, I think the biggest problem with the game is, is the lack of variety. Each level is just the same. Just looks the same. And they're really short. Uh, I say there's only about five levels. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. For for once, uh, even though I think the gameplay is pretty good and, and it's really you know it's good fun to play. Uh, just top up more facts. Yeah. Uh, I never thought I'd say this about a Nick Jones game, but it's too easy. <laughs> like you know, after you've had about you know half a dozen or a dozen games, uh, you can easily complete this. Uh, so top up the ammo, top up the bombs, buy a couple of extra lives. So you get tons of money, uh, it's just, uh, I think it made it a little too easy. Now, um, I also recommend uh, you, you take a look at the, uh, the ZX Spectrum version, which is, I think, is the original version, uh, it's the sort of master version. Check it out on YouTube, uh, or play it in an emulator, it's, it looks amazing. Uh, it's really colourful, uh, you know, and it scrolls around. Uh, uh, it looks pretty amazing for a, a Spectrum game. They get the, the guys, you know, technically it's pretty smart, I think. Uh. Right, so here we are on the third level. If you include the store. And you see, that's just not... Which the graphics are pretty much the same as all the rest. Uh, as smart as they are, you, you get a bit. They, they are a bit samey. Use these bombs. And you can hold down fire. Uh, and, uh, and there's the R-Type, it sort of charges up your main weapon for, for bigger effect. And that little sound effect me dies pretty good, but I think I think they sort of recycled it from uh, Golden Axe, I think. That's another fuel can I've picked up. Once you've picked up all the fuel cans, you just go back to the store and uh, go to the uh, menu and just select Blast Off and that's it. So, yep, yeah, um... Yeah, it's a little guy. I don't, I don't know if you have to destroy these, but uh, yeah. So um, that, that's um, you've got to keep an eye on your uh, ammo as well. And I should really go back to the store and buy some more. I'm almost out. Where it says misc, uh, that's my ammo. So yep, yeah, um, that's Dandy Three for you. Um, it's a pretty good game. Pretty good fun to play um, while it lasts, but uh, so it's a very short game and it won't take you long to complete it. So uh, I'll give it six and a half out of ten, and uh, I certainly recommend playing it, but uh, don't expect it to last too long. <laughs> right, uh, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.